dialogue helps overcome old prejudices. This was the objective of the ecumenical meeting organized by the Focolari movement. Christians from more than 300 churches and ecclesial communities attended, and the highlight of the meeting was attending the Pope's weekly catechesis. Saluto i partecipanti alla settimana ecumenica promossa dal movimento dei Focolari. Unbelievable, really. I, I hadn't anticipated when I said I was coming to this trip that that I would end up here for the audience, and then to be escorted out to sit in the front row up there on the pavement was, well, I'm almost speechless. It was just quite, quite, quite incredible. It's an experience that everyone should have, because this is an atmosphere of hope. They say they experienced a strong sense of communion in St. Peter's. They allow themselves to soak up the atmosphere, which encourages them to continue working to build unity day by day and overcome prejudices and obstacles. I think the how is easier to say than the what. The how is by growing in real love, and that means a real friendship with one another, because as we grow in friendship, we learn to understand one another more. What I would like to see more understanding of um, is of the reality of our being truly church. Because sometimes, not certainly not true of all Roman Catholics, but sometimes uh, we are seen in effect as a second-class church. The Second Vatican Council gave a strong impetus to ecumenism. It ended a stage of mutual suspicion and made a new way of dialogue with other Christians possible. Since then, the popes following the council have had important meetings. Most recently were the prayer in the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria, the trip to Sweden to remember the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation, and an October meeting with the Archbishop of Canterbury.